The Standing Rock Sioux issued a statement on Facebook reading, quote, Today, Trump announced an executive order on DAPL. It not only violates the law, but it violates tribal treaties. Nothing will deter us from our fight for clean water. We will be taking legal action and will take this fight head on. We urge you to fight and stand tall besides us. The EIS statement, environmental impact statement, is still in process, so please submit your comments to the link below. This helps us compound our claim that the pipeline poses grave environmental risks. Please also call your congressional representatives and let them know that the people do not stand behind today's decision. Stand together as one, and we will not fall. That's the statement of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. We're joined here in Park City um, by Bobby Jean Three Legs. She is a water protector who led other young people in a in a hundreds of miles. Well, how long was the run that you participated in, uh, Bobby Jean, that went from, oh, North Dakota to Washington, D.C.? Yes, it was about a 2,000-mile relay run. Uh, my brother Joseph Flydeyes and I um, led about 40 youth from the ages of 30, uh, from the ages of 13 to 30. And when you heard this news about the presidential memorandum, the executive action issued by President Trump uh, yesterday, what were your thoughts? That he's waking up a lot of people, that a lot of people are really paying attention to the climate change now, um, that we're never going to back down. Are you afraid? Yes. I'm mostly afraid for the future generations. Um, because this is gonna affect them the most. I have a two-year-old daughter at home and I can't imagine what life is gonna be like when she's in her mid-40s or 50s. I can't imagine what my great-grandchildren or anybody's future grandchildren or those not born yet will be going through when they come into this world. You're wearing a T-shirt. Can you tell us what it says? Um, it says Minnewachone. It means water is life, water is sacred. Water is our first, med our first medicine for many tribes um, around indigenous communities. And um, it all goes back to being a mother. Your baby is first coming from water. So it's, it's very sacred. And your babies are in water for nine months before they even breathe their first breath of air. And it's what do you tell Chloe about water? Um, like, we'll just say, I'll just say Minnie Wachoni to her and she'll just, like, say water is life. <laughs> she, like, she's paying attention. She's only two. You know, you participate in a protest here in Park City, protesting Chase and Chase Sapphire, uh, because Chase Manhattan Bank is invested in the Coda Access Pipeline. Um, uh, you were there with many people, some who had been hit by rubber bullets. Yes, just barely even, like, three days before that. Um, it's still going on. There's still police brutality going on. People are still getting maced. They're getting shot. Um, our sister, Red Fawn, is still in jail. There's over 600 people that have been arrested so far, there, and it's just, it keeps going up. Right now, I'm just asking all the youth around the country to stand up. I'm asking everyone around the world to stand up with us. Wherever you are, just make your own, you know, make your own gathering make your own posters, go live, anything that any support would be really appreciative. Where have you been going to college? Uh, I, the last college I was going to was United Tribes Technical College. In Bismarck, North Dakota. Yeah. Um, so what is your understanding of what's happened? You, we go from President Obama saying not granting an easement to allow the pipeline to go under the Missouri River, yes. which provides water, what, down to 10 million people below this area, including, well, you're from, you're Standing Rock Sioux, but from the South Dakota side. Yes. Um, when this pipeline breaks, because all mad main things break eventually, whether it's going to be 100 years from now or less. We don't have water intakes on our on our water, or we don't have filters on our water intake system. So it's only going to take five minutes to de, to get into Cannonball, North Dakota's water intake, an hour to walk Paula Mobridge where I live, and two hours for Shine River, and it just goes all the way down the river. And this isn't just a Native American issue. This is a, a human race issue. And there's about 17 million people that drink from the Missouri River, and 
pretty much this is the biggest water source in the United States. You've been involved with the protests since before April 1st, the day that LaDonna, LaDonna Brave Bull Allard opened her own property uh, to the sacred stone resistance camp, encourage people to come. You were among the first. Um, I've seen a, I've seen these five um, groups that were pretty much like the beginning of this movement, uh, Joy Braun, uh, Jonathan Edwards, Hen Henrietta Defender, and there was a couple other ones. I think my brother Joseph was there. Um, and when I got to see them come in and open up Sacred Stone Camp, it was my first part of being a something. And it just, it, I felt like I belonged there. And I, I believe that everybody that's camped out there now feels the same way. And I'm so thankful for them being there because without them, this pipeline probably would have already been built a long time ago.